Hey, this is Simeon, and I'm so excited to be able to bring to you another beautiful historical instrument from Real Samples. And today we're going to take a look at the 1767 German spinet. So come along. Okay, we're back, and my goodness, Real Samples has done such an amazing job in being able to, to um, not only collect historical instruments or find historical instruments, but also to record them and sample them in such a way that allows us to play them and to have them just virtually under our fingers. Uh, you know, you can imagine playing an instrument that is literally several hundred years old. And it's uh, an incredible feeling when you think about that. It just takes you back in time a little bit. You know, the one thing about these historical instruments, especially like harpsichords and spinets, is that there are no velocity controls. Uh, with a piano, you have all of those different velocity ranges, all those different uh, dynamic layers. But with the historical instruments, the spinets and harpsichords, you just have just one velocity. What I appreciate Real Samples has done is that they've given us uh, multiple recordings of the, of the note down. So I think with this German spinet, we've got eight key down and four key up. We're not getting that repetitive effect. So I think that's really important because that just helps the playability. Let's, uh, let's pull this up. So you need the full version of Contact in order to use this, and it comes as a multi-patch. And so let's uh, take a listen to this beautiful instrument. instruments mostly come as contact multis where they have the different elements of the instruments uh, in a different contact layer. So let's uh, take a look at that, uh, especially in regard to the release samples. So we've got the note on as the first instance and then the note off in the second. So uh, let's just kind of play. So that's with both. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna actually mute the uh, note on and I'm gonna boost the level of the note release, the release samples. Like I said before, you've got eight note on and four release samples. And so that just keeps things alive. So uh, let's take a listen to just the release samples and you can kind of hear what I'm talking about. And it's intelligently kind of going through uh, and randomizing those, again, just to keep things from sounding repetitive. And those extra, uh, 
you know, release samples and key down samples that really helps to, uh, especially when you're doing the trills, it just keeps it alive. Okay, let's go to 413 and take a listen to that tuning. So what I'll do is I'll just clear this multi, reset the multi here, and then let's load the 413 samples in. And here we go. And this sounds really crazy. And I'm gonna just play in C. That C sounds very different to what you're used to hearing. Listen to that percussive, that little, you can hear the, the, uh, the attack of the hammer that's hitting that or the plectrum. It gives it a little warmer sound. And uh, one of the things that I love to do with these real sample instruments is because they've given us such clean recordings of these without any effects. It's, we just have the natural instrument. What I like to do with these, I like to put them through crazy effects and just take them a little bit further. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this up inside of, um, inside of Cakewalk that I use uh, as my main DAW. So let's see what we got here. <laughs> So I've got this uh, pulled up here. I've got a couple of uh, different effects. I've got my favorite black hole from Eventide. Uh, got that loaded up. And also the uh, EFX fragments from Arturia. This is, this is a crazy effect. So I'm gonna pull, uh, pull this up again. And this is the 413 tuning. So that kind of has that little, little um, unusual sound. Let's go ahead and pull up EFX fragments. And this is uh, the Pretty Particles preset. So let's take a listen to this. And now you're in a totally different world. Just having those clean samples allows you to do just some extraordinary things. So I've got a couple of favorites that I've saved here. Let's go to Lush Planet into a different key. So this turns it into a pad almost. Wow, 
Isn't that cool? Let's uh, check out some more here. I know I did a couple of these. Yeah, Unique Shimmer. Okay, so let's uh, let's go ahead and just pull up my good old friend Black Hole, and uh, and most of the time I just leave it at this preset, uh, just the initial preset because it just sounds so crazy. Uh, here we go, and I'm still at four thirteen. I thought we'd just stay there for a little bit and uh, just check that out. So let's just let's go to let's stay in E. Again. present and takes it into the future. That's what uh, is so amazing about these instruments. that you uh, check out real samples and this new I guess this old uh, this old new deal <laughs> the 1767 German spinet and I hope you enjoyed uh, this joyful journey with me today and always remember to stay joyful and I look forward to seeing you next time